wall. Uh, it's not down here. I'm making this video because the last one that I tried made um, the audio input was not set up correctly, and therefore the video has no audio like whatsoever. Um, anyways, this is the video that I want to make. Um, I'm trying to get more into doing video game reviews and playthroughs. Um, and, um, well, in the future I'd like to get a more professional mic, and maybe a more professional camera, maybe have some better video software, try to put out some better quality work because I know that this just looks like a, an uneducated teenager has made this production, which I don't want that to be the case. I mean, I want my stuff to be absolutely quality work. Anyways, so this is what I'm working with as far as what my collection goes for at least three quarters of it anyway, because I have a lot of stuff on Origin as well as GOG. Alright, so let's take a look here. I'm going to load that up so everybody can see that. And we're going to jump over to Steam. And let's take it straight from the top. Mainly what I like as far as my video games go, it's either post-apocalyptic, stuff that has to do with more personal issues, general horror shoot 'em ups um, so right here we have Afraid of Monsters and we have Afraid of Monsters Director's Cut. I've got The Hunger Trilogy, Alchemelia, which is a pretty good Half-Life 2 mod. I mean, it's done very, very well, even without the monsters and weapons. Um, I've got a lot of the Arma series. Um, there's a lot of Half-Life classic mods like Azor Sheep. Um, you have Black Mesa, which is on the Source engine, with, which is more prevalently known as the Half-Life 2 engine. Uh, Brutal Half-Life 1 and 2. I've got a lot of stuff by Rockstar. I mean, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto since I was I think, 12, maybe, when GTA 3 first came out. There is... Um, I got Call of Cthulhu, some of the Call of Duties, not very many. I've got more classic stuff like Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VII. Another title which ties into the Afraid of Monsters uh, world by Andreas Bromberg. Um, he's part of Team Skycaller, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, here we go, here's an expansion pack for Blood, which I believe was made 100% by the fans. Cryptic Passage. I've got Doom 1 and 2 plus uh, Ultimate Doom. You know, they're, they're pretty good. Ah, here we go. A couple titles on the build engine, which are related to. Uh, let's see here. Shadow Warrior, Redneck Rampage, as well as Blood. I have some, uh, or a couple. Elder Scrolls titles. A lot of stuff by Bethesda. I've got Fallout 3, Fallout 4, and New Vegas. All of them have all the downloadable content that there is to offer. I've got Final Fantasy 7 because I grew up with this game. I never beat it 100%, I'm going to be totally honest. Um, I think the furthest that I made it, like, without cheating, was... I think I made it to Disc 3, and that was on the PlayStation back in the days when me and my buddy, he goes by several YouTube names, Omega Jack Red, Jack Red 666, Dancing Red Madness, you know, so on and so forth, and he has a lot of different videos. There's my Grand Theft Auto collection. It's not very big, and I still need to get Grand Theft Auto 5. I've got um, a lot of the Half-Life titles, and a couple mods, uh, Echoes, which is a masterfully done edition, by the way. It's by the Half-Life modding community, and it puts a different perspective on how Black Mesa was, the uh, Resonance Cascade scenario, and all that stuff. Yes, I do have this game. I was an idiot, and I bought it. Because, even though I um, 
I looked at a lot of different videos trying to figure out why does everybody hate this game so much? I mean, I was actually looking forward to it like before it was available to purchase on Steam. And I've seen a lot of the videos and the mod itself does draw a lot of heavy criticism from the fact that it does draw assets from other mods. I feel that you kind of have to give it like a bronze award, not a silver, not a gold, but a bronze one it's because I feel that the mod, if you changed a few things here and there, you know, polished it up a bit, it could have been a very good title. And while, you know, it, I can understand why a lot of people mock it, because it kind of relates to uh, Metal Gear as far as how the storyline is driven. Like, the Phantom Pain, to be more specific. There's a couple more titles by Valve Gaming. Uh, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. Yep, I got that one. It's not a Steam game, not available for purchase, and yeah, I'm not going to say much more on that. I've got Max Payne 1 and 2 because I honestly cannot bring myself to play Max Payne 3 because I think that Max Payne 3, as much as I wanted it to be something else, it just ended up, uh, it ended up being just a disappointment to me, and while that may draw a lot of criticism on my channel as far as other people I just did not find the game to be appealing I got the Phantom Pain I got that I don't know when I bought that but I thought it was pretty cool ah here we go we've got More Than Light which is the total conversion for Resident Evil 2 it's a very good play. It's hard as hell, though. Um, Nuclear Winner, that's for Opposing Force. One Unit Hold Blood by Monolith Productions. Uh, Paranoia 1 and 2. I've got Portal, and I never played, por I never played uh, Portal 2. I have the classic Portal. A couple games by the uh, that are on the build engine, Redneck Rampage. I've got the classic Resident Evil. I have the remaster. I have Resident Evil 0, although that's my friend's game. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 2 Remake. I've got Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil Cold Blood, that's a mod. Rising Storm, Vietnam, the entire Stalker series. Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 3. I have Sven Co-op because you can't beat out you can't beat down a classic. I have been playing that game for more than 10 years very well worth it. I've got Steam Fortress Classic and Team Fortress 2, although those are free games, I think. Uh, the Hunter Classic Edition. When I was unemployed, I would actually find myself playing this game for freaking hours just to try to hunt stuff. <laughs> the Hunger Game, a game which I feel that it could have been so much more than what it ended up being. I've got Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Um, I bought that game about, I think, 13 or 14 years ago. And it was an EB Games. I think it was like a, a three or a four disc set. And here's the funny thing. I bought the game. I lost it. And then I found it like six or eight months later down the road. And I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was freaking awesome. There's Vampire of the Masquerade Bloodlines, which I did not get the same, uh, I didn't get the same, um, hype on it that I got out of, uh, Redemption. A little bit of a disappointment. Ah, Vampire Slayer. I remember when, when I was growing up, my dad was, like, a huge computer fanatic, as well as, like, ham radios, but that's not the point of the story. Anyways... Me and a couple friends, we would go in the basement, we had three or four computers going, and we had Half-Life installed in every single one of them. And we would either play Gangsta Wars, Vampire Slayer, or Sven Co-op. It was, it was the bomb back then. As I get to the bottom of my list, um, this is one of my buddies. He's a 
very dedicated gamer, and he's very good at what he does. He even has a couple playthroughs, um, let's plays, reviews. Check him out. That's Resident Evil Gamer 89s. On YouTube, it's known as Omega Jack Red 666 or Omega Jack Red or just regular Jack Red 666. You know, you have to give him give him a shout out. You know, check his page out. Check out his content. And he is actually the first person that got me in playing uh, Manhunt. And, you know, we do we do share a lot of his games. I actually paid for these on his account. And I don't know why. <laughs> he is a huge Doom fan, by the way. Let's see here. I think he's a even bigger uh, Duke Nukem fan. And it was him, actually, that got me into the Fallout series. You know, one day he's playing Fallout 3, I think, on his Xbox or PS2. And I said, here, let me try that out. And I ended up really enjoying the storytelling because it takes inspiration from real-world events, throws in a little bit of fantasy and alternate history, and the outcome makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's definitely worth a check out. Ah, here's one. Um, Hatred, he got me into this. This was regarded as a very controversial game just a little while after it came out because you're just playing as a psycho that's just killing everybody. I thought it was cool. Hmm. Heretic Hexen and Hexen 2. Believe it or not, my dad used to play a couple of these, but I think he was more interested in Doom and Wolfenstein 3D. One of the crappier uh, Telltale game titles, uh, Jurassic Park the game. And it's funny that it appears at this point in his list because he has a lot of uh, very good titles on here. I have to, oh, I'm going to pause that for a second. Postal 1 and 2 and Postal Redux. Uh, I like Postal 2 the best. Ah, here's another one. Metro 23. 33. It's a very good one, and here's something that a lot of people don't know. Metro 2333. 20, it's based on a novel. Mm -hmm. It's based on a novel. And he's also got Saints Row 2, Saints Row the Third, Resident Evil Redemption, and, or Revelations. And Revelations chapter 2. He has the brand new spanking Shadow Warrior, which actually came out a few years ago, but you know. Huge Sonic fan. I mean, he is a bigger fan of Sonic than he is Mario, and I do not blame him in the slightest. Ninten Nintendo can suck it. Yeah, I said it. I don't care if you're offended. Um. Umbrella Corps. You know, I was originally going to play this game, but I thought it was pertaining to, like, Operation Raccoon City. But, no, it's a whole different thing. And, going back to Telltale, my buddy's got Back to the Future titles, he's got The Walking Dead, he's got The Wolf Among Us, which is a very good title by Telltale. I don't understand how they ran out of money, but, you know, that's... That's neither here nor there, but anyways, we're going to jump back to me for a second. Yeah, I mean, so that's just, that is a few titles in my game, and I hope I haven't bored anybody to death, you know, because I'm not a very entertaining person, I just, I do what I do. I'm a good gamer, but I'm not very good face-to-face, -face, and the only real thing that I have to offer is entertainment. So, questions, ideas, uh, comments, concerns, you know, throw it at me. My channel is mostly open from the hours of 9 and 10 in the morning, and that's um, Mondays through Fridays. But Saturdays, I've got work, like, all day on Saturday. But, yeah, that's me.
Anyways, this has been a Seth Real 99 production, and I hope you found it enjoying. I know I have.